So a quick video here on something called the Pythagorean identity. Now to talk about the Pythagorean identity we need to talk about a unit circle. Remember a unit circle has a radius of 1. We're on a Cartesian plane right now. Now if I draw a line anywhere along here, that should be a straight line, and I drop a right angle triangle here. Alright, now we know that the right angle triangle has a hypotenuse of 1. And we should remember that the point here is the value cos theta sine theta. So what that means is that this length is equal to cos theta and this height is equal to sine theta. Alright, now we're talking about the Pythagorean identity. So you should be getting a bit of a hint that it's going to have something to do with Pythagoras' theorem. So we know that Pythagoras' theorem says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. In this particular instance, that means that 1 squared equals cos squared theta. We just write it differently. But really that means cos theta squared plus sine squared theta, which is really sine theta squared. It's really, what that really means is sine theta squared. We just, we write it so often that we don't want to have to use brackets. Okay, finishing it off, 1 equals cos theta squared plus sine theta squared. This is the Pythagorean identity, and it's really, really useful. So everybody now has memorized 1 equals cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Pythagorean identity.